Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hossain and today we are in the last segment of batch cataloging in the Koha integrated library system with Excel data sheet. So in this segment we will learn how to upload and import the mark data into Koha catalog. For that purpose I need to open the Koha demo site. And remember Koha demo is just for practice purpose and it is not a ready-made solution of your Koha ILS. So I just write Koha demo on my web browser and the very first link is about the Koha demo. So you can visit here or alternatively you can use the Koha community site. So you can find a number of Koha demo sites available here. So let me select this one. It's using Mark 2.1 and the version is 20.05 here's the opaque link here's the staff interface and i need to log in here with the staff and staff one as a password so staff and staff one and there you can see this is actually the main interface i mean staff interface of koha and uh, the very first thing you need to perform is to ensure the uh, basic parameters in the Koha ILS. All the codes of library, all the branches and the, all the codes of uh, item type and uh, all the codes of collection and the shelving location and the currency, they all must be updated on your Koha system. Whatever you have provided in the mark data or in Excel file, they must be updated on your Koha system. So since this is an uh, this is a demo site, so let me add my basic parameter here. And if you want to learn how to add the basic parameters and how to perform the basic administration in Koha, there is a complete video available in the description of this video and on the i button. So let me add the library first. I use main as a code so main or whatever it's ref limbs library I just go to I just go through in a quick way and then the item type BK is already there, so let us move to authorized value. So I add C code. So I use ZC, Z, and this is just an example. not the real thing actually authorized value I use uh, in authorized value I use uh, uh, shelving location so the shelving location LA liberal arts I use uh, uh, let me check here GB as a shallowing location GB it's a journal book Reference is already there. I use LA and it's done. Journal books. So 
so it's already accessible in administration i may add the currency our rupees is already there so let me make this active currency <clears throat> again in administration if you are performing cataloging according to rda cataloging rules then you need to add the rda framework in mark bibliographic framework and if you want to learn how to add rda framework so you can check the description of this video and the i button there's a complete video now let's move to tools and let's start the uploading of mark data so here we have three uh, actually columns so you can see this is actually patterns and circulation catalog and additional tools so in catalog the second one the third last value is about the stake mark record for import we just need to click here and we need to upload our mark file mrc file so choose file here we have this file sheet one so let me upload this and upload and it will take few time depend on the size of your file and records so i would recommend to use 2000 or 3000 in one batch or you can add more but it will actually slow down the speed so we can write comments here so this is sheet one and uh, to remember the file or sheet one uh, 19 records or whatever you want to write so let me write and leave all these values as it is there's no need to change they are the default values and go with the default value uh, unless you want to change the record type for example you are working on authority value instead of bibliographic value or you want to change the character encoded for example you are working on utf 8 by default or you can change this to mark 8 if you're working on mark 8 and the format is mark if you are working on mark xml so you can change this and do not look for the record matching rules it's actually there are two values isbn or issn so you cannot actually add the same isbn twice and if you click here i mean if you select any of them for example this or this uh, isbn or issn as a record matching rule unless you uh, change this value add incoming record ignore incoming record so there are three i mean values available in the drop down of this if you are looking for the record matching rules and same for this check for embedded item record data yes if you are we must have to check this how to process items always it add item so this is by default and go with the default value so and there you need to click on stake for import and and again it will take few time depend on the size and uh, records of your file so here we have summary of staking records i mean result so 19 i records in the file zero record not staked because of mark error so there's no mark error and 19 record is stake did not check for matching uh, match with existing record in catalog 76 item uh, recorded found okay there are 19 records and 76 items and now we need to click on manage stake records so we need to up, uh, import uh, this batch into the catalog okay again do not touch uh, any of the default uh, values okay 
so there you need to select the framework for example i'm using here default framework default framework is quite good and it's quite uh, it has all the fields and sub fields available with default framework but you can change this if you are working on rda framework so you can select the rda framework for that purpose you need to import rda framework from the koha administration and if you want to learn how to perform this how to add the rda framework in koha catalog so you can check the video in the description of this video and now you need to import this batch into the catalog just click here Again, it will take few time, depend on the size and the records of your file and the records in your file. So it's batch 51 and all information are available here. So you can see the uh, number of records added 19, number of records updated 0, number, number of record ignored 0 number of item added 76 so we have 19 records and 76 items so we have 76 copies each record has four additional copies okay so there you can check actually the mark record so you can see this is a mark and you can close this and there you can the the record number has assigned with every uh, record and here's the record see so here's the record let me bigger the screen first and it's 150 so you can see this is actually the title subtitle and the author publisher i mean the imprint area and the description the physical description that we have joined together in one column and isbn number and the subjects so you can see this is one subject another subject another subject another subject so we have four subjects here and loc classification library of congress classification here's the link for the online resource and the opaque uh, view so you can see the opaque view let me click here and i'll show you how the opaque actually result and then further you can check the description there's a note area and the holding record so we have four holdings and four copies i mean the four items so you can see this is actually the current location the item type is book and the current location the home location I mean the permanent location and the collection code and the call number status available and all these things are available here the barcode and the public note even so this is what we have entered here so you can see the another result for example this one or this one And this image is coming from the Amazon site. So you need to go at the uh, system preferences of Koha and enhance content. And there you need to allow Amazon to show picture in a staff interface and also in the opaque. So let me show you. So here's the actually the opaque result. So opaque would present something like this. This is some customized opaque. I mean, Koha opaque is... Uh, I mean, it has customized like the theme has customized so very anyhow and they are also available on the back side okay similar for this book let me open this on a back i mean the online public access catalog the one record has four additional copies of four items 
and they are in journal books journal books journal books okay so here we actually upload one batch file so if for example uh, you made a mistake so you can undo import into the catalog so you can undo this process and then so let us go to import another file that is actually sheet 2 and sheet 2 all the records of sheet 2 has one item except the very first sheet 2 upload sheet See, it has 12 records in file and 12 records stake, 13 record item. Uh, so it has 13 item records found and stake. There's no mark error. Manage stake records. Okay. And there we need to import this badge into the catalog in default framework. If you are performing cataloging according to RDA framework or some other framework, you need to select that. So default framework is quite good. So it will assign the record number here. Now here's the summary number of record added 12 and number of item added 13 and assign the record number so this ISBN we have corrected in the excel sheet so you can see we have added two zero here and now you can see the image has synced from the amazon site and it has two items for example this item is this one the reference and this Okay. So we have completed the batch uploading in the Koha catalog and if you want to undo this process so you can change this you just need to go or if you think you have entered some wrong record and you want to uh, modify batch so you can actually so you, there you can batch record modification and batch record deletion and batch item modification batch item deletion so they all are available so you can perform this and similar you can manage the uh, batch file here stake mark records management the second last value of second column so there you can see we have upload two sheets sheet one and sheet two and uh, for example you want to undo this sheet this is just an example it has imported here and if you want to undo this you just need to click on the sheet this one this side file name you need to click here 
<clears throat> and there you need to click on undo import into the catalog so and you need to click here undo import into catalog and all the records and item will revert from the catalog so and one more important thing if you want to undo import into catalog or you want to undo all this uh, uh, badge from the catalog you just need to use this button do not click on the clean button of uh, this uh, manage stake mark record list so do not click on this clean button it will disable the functions to open this file so let me show you you can see this cannot be undone so do not click here and so we have completed the batch uploading in Koha so uh, in this series we have learned how to normalize the excel data sheet into a convertible format and then in second segment we have learned how to convert the excel into mark record and the last segment we have learned how to upload and import the mark data into the OHA catalog so you are watching Raflims this is Faro Hussain and thank you very much